Good morning, everyone. It is 20 past nine. I'm just having my second coffee of the day. Um, um, Pete's gone to work. He left about an hour ago. I have washed and dried my hair, but look, you see how long it's getting now? It definitely needs a cut because this, I promised I wouldn't talk about it anymore. It is humid today. I feel humid today. It's 62 degrees and it's dull outside, but it feels really humid to me. Luna's downstairs with Ash. <clears throat> Today the yearbooks come and they are supposedly coming here, even though the email said to the school, but we spoke to the principal about having them sent here so that way we could sort them all out, seeing there's no schools in session, and then just get some over to the school if kids go in there. Oh, wee, it is hot. Um, yeah, so that's that. So at some point today, I have to watch out for him because I need him to take them around the back so I can put them in the garage because apparently it's a pallet full. I guess that means that they're all not saran wrapped, obviously, but wrapped together in all the different boxes. Um, yeah, or I always get nervous when I know the books are coming because you get to see it in print first. And I'm a nervous Nelly, like, did we do something wrong, even though it was checked and checked, and then they're supposed to check it at that place as well, and, you know, all this sort of stuff. So I always stress out, though, when it's coming. But it is what it is. The, the sad thing is there's nothing spring in there today, uh, this year at all, because of the pandemic and everything else. Pete did go around town and take pictures and around the schools and put those kind of pictures in there. Um, the principal is leaving on Mike is his page, his dedication page, good enough, like all these stresses. It's crazy. It's like I hate stress and it's just another stress. But anyway, that's today. I think Pete's working from home tomorrow. I wish they were coming tomorrow, but I'm not even going to look at it till Pete's looked at it. And then the principal has to look at it before we can release them all to the kids. So then we'll have to get a message out somehow that the books are here and, you know, to contact us for pickup. So my phones are going to get busy because I think we had a hundred, which is not high. People are going to be like, what do you mean you only had that many pre-sales we had? We've got 300 books come, or 295 books coming. And I think the pre-sale was about three quarters of that. So we shall see, guys. Just I always get nervous, but I'm going to stop talking about it because nothing I can do. I have not edited the vlog yet because, like I said, as soon as Pete got out of the shower, I wanted to shower and get myself sorted in case it came early, which now means it will come late, which is also fine. I've got all the fans on in the room, but I'm getting close to putting the AC on just to cool me off. My hot flashes are fast and furious today. Stress brings them on and I'm a little on the stress side, so over the books and a few other things, but... I'm not even going to bother. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday and we'll talk to you in a little while. And you don't want to turn off? I said don't move your face, Luna. You look so cute. Guys, I haven't vlogged today. It's been one of those days. Quarter to four. Pete's on his way home. Yearbooks still haven't come. I just had Luna out and it's boiling. But uh, seeing as Pete's on his way home, Ash and I run over to the post office to drop something off. They tried to drop it off yesterday, but they locked the lockbox. The drop-off lockbox. The drop-off box. Whatever it's called. Anyway, Ash has taken her out now because Luna wants to go back out. I think she wants to go out just to mess about because it's hot. But anyway, guys, I will talk to you in a bit because I'm competing with the TV at the minute. All right, guys, Pete's home. It's 22 minutes past four. So Ash and I, we have our masks, are running over to drop these packages off to be delivered. One each. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll have four more. <laughs> Hoping the yearbooks come tonight in case Pete is at work tomorrow. Don't want to have to be on guard waiting for them all day again like today. Feel like you can't relax, don't you, when yeah. you feel like they're going to come any minute. As you can see guys, it's a hot one. It was so nasty this morning and foggy and this afternoon it's 79 or 78? 78. 78. And sunny and no clouds in the sky, so it's quite warm. Quite warm indeed.
Okay guys, so we're back. Ash is taking a shower. Pete's, it's funny, we're getting all these requests today about photography. Not um, about buying, not buying, no. <sighs> Forget it. I can't even think what I'm saying. Trying to set something up with one organization and other little things here, there and everywhere. People trying to get something for nothing, some, not all. I had to straighten my hair with the hair straighteners obviously because I couldn't take it anymore it just kept curling out so it's sitting nice and flat now so while it's growing I'll just keep using the hair straighteners rather than get frustrated with it but soon I hope I don't want to call her yet and make her feel like she has to take me which I know she wouldn't but I don't know actually see if she's actually is going to carry on doing hair because she does have some health issues and um you know you never want to take for granted that she can do it, she may not feel up to it. Anyway, I will check in with her, maybe in a week or two. Once I hear, they said New York is in phase one of opening up. Um, and, you know, parts of Westchester are opening up. So funny, not funny, but where it all started in Westchester, New Rochelle, they're one of the first areas opening up. So we will see, but like I said, Ash goes back to work on Saturday. I'm gonna miss having her around especially helping me with Luna. Well, she's done everything with Luna since she's been off. I've had like a two month break of having to go in and out. That's why today I took her out. I'm like, I better get back into the swing of this. If it had been yesterday, I wouldn't have been able to take her out. I don't know what we'd have done because I could barely lift my right leg um, for the last few days. So today it's a little bit easier where I can actually move it, except I just had a bit of trouble getting out of Ashley's car. I kind of had to swish myself around and go on my left side. That's not fun. But Pete is not working from home tomorrow. So hopefully these books show up tonight. I said to him, I hope they haven't been done at the school, you know, because it's quarter to five. But he just called the head custodian over there and he's not at the school right now. He said, I'll let you know in the morning if they're here. Um, then we'll have to arrange to get them over here. But yes, Pete's on watch now for the big bad truck. Apart from that, it's hot out. We just went out, it was very hot, and I went out, I didn't care. I went out in sweats and a t-shirt, and I looked like a sight. Oh, and flip-flops, and, and my mask. I looked fabulous. Um, dropped off our packages to be mailed out, because uh, like I said, they went to drop them off on the way over yesterday, but there's a box in the post office that you can just put them in so they'll go out first thing this morning. They'd locked that. It wasn't open, they locked it. So that was unfortunate. But yeah, that's it, guys. I'm going to sit now. I've just brought up cold soda. We'll have, yeah, still have some ice in it with ice because I'm boiling. I was going to make a cup of tea and I said, no, wait a bit. So I've got the fan on full blast and I'm in shorts and a tank top. And I'm very happy now that I don't have to listen out for anything or think about it, at least for tonight. Your Cuomo update. Today's COVD, COVD, COVID-19. I've lost the rest now. Anyway, guys, I hope your day is good and we'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, guys, I've just seen the email that the books are not coming today. They're going to come tomorrow. Of course they are, because Pete's back at work tomorrow. Oh, he's back in tomorrow. Anyway, I've come over here because in about one minute, they're going to do the... Um, banging and making noise for the healthcare workers and then I'm going downstairs to watch a couple of programs like we always do it's pretty let me show you the outside it's so much prettier <laughs> than this side sun's quite high oh there we go seven o'clock in the dark Once a week on a Thursday. Here they do it every night. Yeah. You like your apple? And yes, we checked with Google. Apple is good for dogs. It's a good, good source of fiber, so she'll be, it'll be good on the back side if you don't. Regular. Have to... I 
good. Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. So for dinner I had a burrito bowl. Um, is that new text, Ash, or an old text? Oh, nothing. Um, we are looking into one of those thermometers. Anyway, um, I had the burrito bowl and it was delicious. I want to thank Stacy if you're watching. Stacy sent me a beautiful card of her beautiful daughter, um, class of 2020. Such a nice picture. I have a picture, well, I have two pictures of Jen on my refrigerator downstairs. And it's so much funny because when people come over, I've had quite a few people going, who's that beautiful young girl on your refrigerator? And I've put those pictures up there since Stacy sent them to me. But yeah, congratulations, Jen, on graduating and moving on to the next chapter. I feel bad for all the graduates who are missing out on proper graduations and stuff, but maybe maybe something will happen and they can still celebrate. But it's a huge commitment. My niece is graduating and, of course, all my kids from school <laughs> down the road. All my kids. Um, yeah, so I got this little thing in the mail today. Queen bee, that's me, queen bee. Yes, I'm gonna have, here's one of the donut Klondikes, I'm gonna have that. But I wanna watch my English programs. Pete has just taken Luna outside and um, Ash is gonna bring her up here when she comes back in. And then tomorrow Ash has a huge webinar with the whole of Sephora all over the country. It's a massive webinar. And then on Thursday, she has one with just her store and then, like I said, Saturday she goes back. But anyway, the things are opening up slowly. We're in phase one of the reopening of the Westchester County. We'll see how that goes. I wondered where you'd gone. I moved it when I was I was videoing things to put up online. When I moved certain things out of the way. And then I'm like, what's missing from over there? But anyway, guys, I hope you've had a brilliant Tuesday. Whatever it is you did today, I hope it was a good one. And we will definitely see you tomorrow. Stay safe, guys, and we will see you soon.